Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Gravistyle with my driver. Now, in your hard drive, the C drive, obviously you could have gone through my computer. Down here is going to be a Gravistyle, Gravistyle 5 or something like that. Within this folder is a Post Pro uh, folder. And if I go to view and down to details and put it in order and I scroll down or I can just hit the letter Q this is the file that I'll be sending you it's a Q3x underscore 001 Mac so it's going to be a Mac file that I send you and you're going to just drop it in this post pro directory so that's the first thing that you're going to do the second thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to settings and you can either go to control panel or printers and faxes and uh, I've already got a generic text only printer set up here that I utilize so I'll, I'm going to set up another one uh, you can right mouse click or you can click on add a printer click on next it's going to be a local printer attached to this computer so just the top ones checked uh, use the following port in this case I know I want to put it to a file Okay, and then I click on next uh, it remembered what I checked last time which was generic so you might start up here at AGFA and of course you'll have to go down to generic and generic text only and then just click on next and since it has a, a generic text only driver it's asking uh, if you want to replace it and in this case I want to keep the existing one and you'll want probably want to do the same so keep the existing existing one and I like naming it something that I know gen text uh, generic text uh, dash uh, file so I know this is going to be a the printer name is generic text and it's going to be to file uh, do you wish to use this printer as your default printer? Probably the answer is going to be no. Click on next and you probably do not want to share this printer so that other people on your network could utilize it. So that's going to be no. Click on next. Uh, since this is a printing to file, you do not need to do a test page. And then click on next and then click on finish and it should be done and now let's go to Gravistyle now I've already got a job set up which is just something very simple so that the file is not a real big file but what I'm going to do is go into machining set up machines click on the plus to add a machine all kinds of machines click the letter Q since I'm the only one that starts with the letter Q click on add and then I need to find that generic text to file and of course this could have been named whatever you name it and click on OK and then make your table size and I think you had a 7000 so this is going to be 12 I'm sorry this will be 20 12 by 20 is the table size on a and this will be minus 12 and this really doesn't matter if you're just printing me out a, a file for me to look at and then just leave everything else alone uh, the output is is already going to be to the generic text file that I wanted and then just say OK and then close and then I don't know why they asked this but just say yes so I want to go to machining and machine and right now it's defaulted to a Vanguard 3400 I'm going to change it to the Q3X controller and if I click on test and click on run it'll bring this dialog box up and this is the file the this is what it's sending to the engraver so I could right mouse click this and copy start and I could go run and type in notepad or I could go to accessories and then edit and then paste so this is going to be file save and then I'm going to put it in a directory under my C drive called one logos and delete soon and this is which I did yesterday it's a one by one on a two by six tag q3x 
driver uh, Travis style 98 and then just save and overwrite so this is the file that you would send me so I could figure out if there's any issues on any of, of the data that's coming through now you can also have sent this to port if the file is longer or we're worried about uh, what happens between lines runaways things of that nature and the file is a little bit longer I could also send it to port and then all I have to do is click on run and then you'll see the normal dialog box go across and then down here you have this print to file and where is it at oh here it is so up here it has this pr output file name now I need to tell it where to go in, in a DOS format so I know I want it to go to my C drive and colon which is the two dots backslash and I'll just type in temp or you know what I'm gonna just type in C colon backslash and then I'm gonna give the file a name I'm gonna just call it Fred job dot txt since I know that that doesn't exist and I think it went let's see print to file no for it. and then I have to click on OK so now if I go to my desktop and I just happen to have a shortcut to my C drive here and let's just see if that job is here here's the Fred job txt and there's the same information as we saw in Gravistyle let me close this out had I plotted to the test and run here's the data that's in Gravistyle and here's the job the only difference on this one I can't let me see if I, I can't get it to stay because this will not minimize but anyways you can basically see it's the same data except for it doesn't have be begin file and end of file so this is the actual engraved it, the data that is sent to to the machine and this is what you would send me and then likewise if you're running from a parallel port I can take this file and copy it to my parallel port to see if it runs runs my machine runs your machine or runs my machine I hope this helps and I think it'll be easy enough.